<laughs> She'd really help out more. I don't think you want Lainey seeing you like that. No. I'm a waiter, not a busser. If she wants me to clean cups, she's got to pay me more. Waiters make more than busters. You do know you're already getting paid more, right? <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for helping out with that. James, try not to work too hard. I'll try not to. <laughs> we just had a big table come in, so could one of you guys help with that, please? Uh, sure. Yeah, no problem. Sam, why don't you go take care of that? I would have thought you would want to help, James. There's probably a big tip involved. Well, maybe if we didn't have to split our tips, I would be very motivated. But since we pool them, it doesn't really matter, does it? Ah, that reminds me. The new owner wants to do away with the shared tipping system, so everyone will be able to keep 100% of their tips from now on. Really? Yeah. Also, they are moving me to the downtown location, so the manager position here is going to be open, and the new owner is coming in today to decide who gets it. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a lot more responsibility without any pay. So no thank you. I pay six figures. OK, say less. I will take care of that table. <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Make sure you clean those glasses really well. I see you leaving spots. You're not my boss. Yet. But I will be so. And I would hate to have to fire you, buddy. So do better. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is James, and I'll be assisting you today. So are we celebrating anything special? Yes, we are. Uh, company just got acquired. Oh. Well, congratulations. You must be in a really big celebratory and tipping kind of mood. <laughs> oh, that's expensive, Rudy. Yeah, I didn't ask. <laughs> I'll tell you what, a bottle of wine on the house. Oh, that's so nice of you. Oh, it is the least I could do. Now, if you've gotten a chance to look over the menus, we have a Japanese Wagyu that is so tender, you can cut it with a fork. It's about $30 an ounce, but I suppose that won't be a problem for you fine folks. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I just sat him in your section. Oh, uh, wait, um, have Sam cover him. Thanks. Sam's in the back, helping with everything else. I don't care. I'm not going to help someone who looks like him. <sighs> I've got to get to the front. You can tell Sam. Well, I'm sorry, folks, but I'm going to have to step away for a moment. So why don't you look over the menus? I'll be back to take your orders, and uh, I'll have some free bread brought out for you. OK. Enjoy. Oh, hey. I was just coming to find you. Need you to take that table over there. Thanks, bye. He's in your section, OK? And I'm busy. I'm helping out in the back. Yeah, but I just told you to help him. <sighs> OK, dude, it's only one table. What's the big deal? Do I spell everything out for you? Okay, clearly that guy has no money. I mean, just look at him. His clothes. Okay, and now that we're not splitting tips, I don't want to waste my time on people who are just going to order water and free bread all night. Wow. Really, James? Yeah. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> That's cute. You're trying to give me advice when you obviously know nothing. You know, no wonder you're going to be working for me someday. Now, I'm going to go take care of customers that actually have money. I need you to hurry it up. Oh, boy. Hey, sorry for the wait. Can I get you started with anything to drink? Um, it's no problem. Uh, can I get a water, though? Yes. Do you have any questions with the menu, or...? Uh, I'm, I'm still looking, but um, can I get some bread in the meantime? Yes, of course. <laughs> Excellent choice. Great. I will put that right in. In the meantime, Enjoy your wine. <laughs> Thanks. OK. <laughs> There's your bread. Yeah. Jax, can I please get some bread, too? Thank you. Thanks, man. OK, Thanks. I'll be right back. Sure. So? Was I right? Free bread and water? Well, 
Yeah, but you know, I'm sure he's going to order more than that. <laughs> Keep telling yourself, though, pal. So you just got to listen to me. You see my table over there? They ordered steak, seafood, the whole works. I'm going to make more tips off them in that one table than you will in a whole week. Right. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah, you know what? Since I'm feeling bad for you, you can have that table over there. I mean, the guy looks like a janitor, but he'll probably order something more than just free bread and water, at least an appetizer. <laughs> That's kind. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Here you go. And you are welcome to tip on the card. But cash is always preferred. <laughs> no one likes to pay taxes, am I right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Oh, great, thanks. Uh, would you like to order anything, or? Um, not right now, I'm actually waiting on someone. Oh, okay, well, perfect. Take your time and let me know, For okay? Sure. Thank you. Are you ready for some food? Um, we're actually good with just the appetizer. Oh, thank you. Of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just leave this here for you then. Uh, if you need anything else, like water, bread, chips, or salsa, let me know, okay? Thank you, you're so sweet. Please, it's my pleasure. Thanks. Okay. Congrats again on the sale of your company, by the way. You must be so proud. If you ever do end up deciding to come back here, I'll probably be managing the place, but I would not mind being your waiter at all. You know, I have no ego when it comes to these things. At all. <laughs> I just stuck them with the most expensive food that we have. And let me guess, Mr. Free Bread still hasn't ordered anything? Nope. Said he's waiting for someone and then he'll order. Mm, sure he is. Sam, that is the oldest trick in the book. He's just saying that so you stay off his back, and then he's gonna come up and say something like, Hey, man, um, the person I'm waiting for, she's taking too long, so I'm just gonna head out. Uh, do I owe you anything? Oh, no, no problem, man. You're all good. Thanks. You sure, man? Can I tip you? Or? No, 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 no. Seriously, just uh, promise you will come back to visit us another day. Oh, of course, man. I definitely will. Okay. Thank you. So, did I call it? Or did I call it? <laughs> I still can't believe you didn't take the tip, though. I mean, it's just gonna be a couple bucks, but it's still gonna be better than whatever that couple gives you. Let me guess. They've been ordering appetizers all night. Sam, my boy. See, this is why you're never gonna get ahead in life. Because here you are, you're gonna spend all day and get a few lousy dollars, and here I am, racking up a bill of about a thousand dollars. 20%, that's gonna be at least a $200 tip, and I would bet even more. Okay, huh? Everything okay? Oh, no, 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 that can't be happening. This is a $0 tip, that, no, that's not right. Thanks again for the great service. Okay, I'll be right back with your change. No, it's okay, you can keep it. <laughs> it's $100, the bill. No need. You were great, you deserve it. $100 for some chips. How can you afford that? Uh, excuse me. He actually owns his own company and employs over 100 people. So he just has a weirdly modest style. Wow, that's impressive. Not that I thought any lies. Um, thank you, guys, really. No problem. Right. Hey, guys, I, I think there might be some sort of mistake. I saw on here that you put zero dollars for a tip. Uh, did you mean tipping cash or? No, that's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't understand. Why would you not tip? I, I gave you guys fantastic service. I even gave you free wine. I mean, you guys just sold your company for crying out loud. Well, first off, we're European. We don't believe in tipping. In second, yes, we sold our company but the only reason we're celebrating is because he was going into bankruptcy. We didn't actually make anything. Hmm. Oh, and before I forget, could you get us some more bread? Cheapskates, man. What are you laughing at? N nothing. I'm still gonna be the manager here, okay? And when I am, you are not- Hey, man. Um, so she did show up, so we actually are going to eat here. Oh, that's, that's great. Hi. I wanted to introduce myself. 
I'm Sharon. This is who I've been wanting you guys to meet. She's the new owner. Oh, well, well, hello, Sharon. It is so lovely to meet you. My name is James, and if you need anything, please let me know. Uh, what if you and your son got a table? I, I would love to be your waiter. <sighs> Cut it, James. The hostess already told me how you refused to serve her son because of how he looked. You are unbelievable. But Sam, they did tell me how nice you were, and I thank you for that. You're exactly the kind of person I want managing this place. I mean, if you're interested, of course. And uh, Yes, yes, of course, I, I would love that. Thank you, thank you both so much. Great. So, I want you to start as soon as possible, but can we eat first? I'm starving. <laughs> no problem. I'll be right there to take your order. Okay. <sighs> I did try to warn you. Maybe next time try to listen to my advice and don't judge a book by its cover. Waiter! Where's my bread? Did... God, Better Jesus. hurry up and get that bread, James. <laughs> oh, yeah. And do it quick before I fire you. Thanks. Oh, James, here you go. What's this? It's your receipt. I heard you gave away some free wine. Someone's got to pay for that. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Can this day get any worse? Hi, are you James? I am Charlie from the IRS. I'm here to talk to you about some back taxes from unclaimed tips. 